following new information coming in overnight on that shooting rampage in the capital of North Carolina. Five people gunned down, ranging in age from 16 to their 50s. The 15-year-old suspect remains in critical condition this morning. Officials not releasing any details on the nature of his injuries. His arrest following a crime scene that spanned two miles. And as it is with so many of these rampages, the question on everyone's mind is why? For the latest on the investigation, let's get right to ABC's Elwin Lopez in Raleigh, North Carolina. Good morning, Elwin. Hey, Eva, good morning. That teenage suspect is hospitalized with life-threatening injuries. Police say that 15-year-old was taken to custody hours after those first gunshots rang out, spreading terror and chaos across East Raleigh. This morning, we're learning more about the victims of the mass shooting that left five people dead in East Raleigh. I'm just walking in the day, see everything, nothing seems real, like, you know. Tracy Howard lost his wife of five years, 52-year-old Nicole Connors. She was just a kind person, she was a good person. She didn't deserve anything like this. Connors was the oldest of the five killed. The youngest was just 16 years old. We heard some shots outside, and I looked out my window, and there's a, the neighbor is on the ground, I think. They died in the shooting spree that began Thursday around 5 p.m. in a residential neighborhood. Police say the 15-year-old suspect shot and killed two people, then fled to a popular walking trail nearby, where he allegedly gunned down more victims later taken into custody here at 9.30 p.m. Oh, my God. Oh, she's bleeding. The deadly and sprawling crime scene spanning over two miles. That teenage suspect finally apprehended and in critical condition. We do intend to seek charges uh, as um, against him as an adult and to proceed to superior court with this case. Seven people injured, five now dead. 52-year-old Nicole Connors, 49-year-old Susan Carnatz, a mother of three also killed, 34-year-old Mary Marshall, a Navy vet now dead just days before getting married, and 29-year-old off-duty police officer Gabriel Torres gunned down on his way to work. The youngest victim, 16-year-old James Thompson, a high school junior. There are several families in our community waking up this morning without their loved ones. And Diva, a canine officer who was brought here was treated and released. Another victim, a 59-year-old woman, is still in critical condition here. The motive and what led up to all of this is still unclear. Eva. And Ellen, this is yet another mass shooting in 2022 by a young man. This one just 15 years old. The Uvalde shooter was 18. The Buffalo supermarket shooter was 18. What are experts saying about this very troubling trend? Yeah, Eva, and all of those people that you were mentioning are young men, 21 or under. Now, there is no simple explanation as to why young men are more likely to engage in mass shootings. Law enforcement officials and experts cite mental health issues, bullying, social media, and access to gun, all known factors. But the fact is that since 2018, six of the nine deadliest mass shootings in the United States were perpetrated by young people, 21 and under. Eva. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.